You know, I think uh, Jesus was, of course, a genius, but one of his particular expressions of genius was his solution-oriented mindset that I think he constantly um, plunged his disciples into scenarios and situations that forced out of them either a stuck, non-solution-oriented, non-progressive mindset or a more positive, forward motion, progressive, solution-oriented mindset. And you get to choose which one of those you'll primarily be, the glass half full, the glass half empty kind of metaphor in life. We get to choose which of those we predominantly come down on the side of in life. And I've been both in my life, and I guess you have too. I have had seasons of my life where I've gravitated more towards uh, non-solution or getting stuck easily on the first couple of options that I couldn't see anything beyond that as possibilities. Until I began to train myself to think and listen um, and study um, and take counsel and wisdom and ideas wider than me or the small group I was listening to and realize that there are people somewhere in the world that have already figured out what I'm stuck with and I don't need to reinvent the wheel or if it is a brand new unique problem to my life or to yours then rather than be terrified or, or made stationary by it or terrorized by it that we um, apply our solution oriented makeup towards it and I was fascinated recently reading again about the feeling of the 5000 and John's version of that which gives us more behind the scenes than the other versions in the other Gospels and it says Jesus moved by compassion turned to the disciples and said where shall we buy bread to feed these people he first asked Philip John tells us um, and the first thing I noticed was and what I say to you is that a solution oriented mindset which is what Jesus is driven by he sees a problem of people that are hungry because they've tracked with him several days and he wants to help them practically by feeding them providing food for them and so he, he wants to bring a solution to a problem but it starts by saying um, he was moved by compassion and that compassion led him to decide I want to help these people and the first thing I want to say to you is that a solution oriented mindset is first of all rooted in compassion the compassion gets you wanting to change the human condition compassion and empathy is what makes us want to come up with solutions that alleviate suffering and alleviate uh, difficulties and problems and things that seem to be unable to be solved and things that stick us in a place where we don't want to stay that it's compassion rather than um, fixing a problem I think the undergirding foundation of a continual solution oriented mindset isn't fixing things but it is compassion and empathy it is that I don't want you to be stuck anymore I don't want this to govern and dominate and terrorize you anymore I don't want this to rob you of a level and quality of life that you could have anymore. I don't want you, these people hungry anymore in the miracle of the 5,000 instance. I think all of that's driven by a compassion and empathy. So if you want to get into this slipstream, this culture, this mindset of thinking solutions rather than thinking problems, then build up your compassion quarter increase your empathy uh, quarter become more aware of the human condition become more aware of the suffering that you could make a difference to if you simply came up with a solution instead of adding to the problem instead of feeling the problem you came up with an answer um, a way out an off-ramp an exit a way to do this better a way to get a result where people are thinking they're stuck and they can't I think what has kept me like that now for over 40 years in my leadership and helping and investing and growing people is that I've traced it over the years it hasn't always been that but I've realized now for a certain a couple of decades that that my my wanting to help and grow people my wanting to come up with things and and articulate things in a way that becomes practical and useful to you um, is because I really care 
about how much people are stuck. I really care that no one often is helping us. I really care that people that know stuff don't pass it on enough or don't pass it on clear enough. So we stay stuck even though we listen to someone that apparently was telling us how to get unstuck. It wasn't said well and I want to get better in growing and building empathy because empathy empathy asks me to feel something that I think you're feeling. If I can find that same thing in me, then it will change how I communicate something to you. Because I want to say it in a way that alleviates your suffering as soon as possible. And all of that solution that you walk away with, we forget was driven and fueled by and rooted in a heart that was committed to becoming compassionate and empathetic to ever increasing levels. So that's what drove Jesus to feed the 5,000. And I think it's what drives God to continue to love and help and intervene in the misery of humanity. So build up your compassion empathy quarter daily. It will make you more solution oriented as a start point for becoming that kind of person.